Hey, I'm Sean DeVries. Uh, I'm 30 years old. I'm originally from Adelaide, uh, now living in Brisbane. Today I want to tell you about my drink driving message. It all started for me when I was 27, uh, so three and a half years ago. I went out drinking with uh, one of my mates. We both drove to the venue, um, and for whatever reason, uh, I left the venue in his car as a front seat passenger. Uh, I can't remember um, leaving the venue, I can't remember much of the night. Um, I can probably only remember the first half hour to an hour, and that was it. I remember drinking, but I don't remember drinking how much. Uh, the next thing I remember after being at that venue was waking up in hospital to my parents um, above me, uh, telling me I've been involved in a car accident. Reportedly what happened was I left the venue, uh, front seat passenger in my mate's car. It was a really rainy night that night. Uh, there was major thunderstorms. We had a crash um, at about one and a half kilometres from the venue that we left. There were two eyewitnesses that said we hit the tree um, at about 120 kilometres an hour and about three metres up uh, on the tree. So we actually launched uh, off a medium strip and launched straight into a tree right in the middle of the roundabout. As a result, it took about 70% of the crash as a passenger and, and had major injuries um, after the crash. I was in hospital for three weeks in total, one week in, in intensive care, uh, two weeks in a, in a step down ward. It was uh, incredibly intense. I, I, I didn't actually get up out of bed for, for two whole weeks. Most of my injuries were upper body, uh, mainly resulted from my arms um, and some in my leg as well. I had shoulder injuries, facial injuries from the crash. I have metal plates in my arms, both my arms and my elbow and my shoulder, and major scars as well. My right hand couldn't move after the crash at all. Um, I had to re relearn how to use my right hand and still to this day it doesn't fully function. And my left hand is, is similar, it doesn't have the same strength that it used to have. At the time that I had the car accident, I owned uh, two businesses. I was working in my businesses for about 70 to 80 hours a week, so I was really, really involved in my businesses. Overnight, I couldn't actually work in my bakeries at all. I went from being completely in them um, all the time to not at all um, because I sustained so many injuries from the crash. I was out of my business for seven months um, and because of the financial situation it was, um, it, was, it was losing a lot of money because of me not actually physically being in the businesses. About four months after I had gone, actually gone back into the business, gone back to work physically, I put the business into liquidation. I lost them as a direct result of this crash. So everything I had worked for for 11 years beforehand, because I'd worked for five years before I actually owned any businesses, uh, was gone. If I had one thing to say, I would say, think about how much you drink. That night I had a blood alcohol concentration of 0.138, which is obviously quite high, and that's nearly three times the amount. And the drink driver had a blood alcohol concentration over three times that amount. The amount of trauma that you'll put the people closest to you through is, is too much to just go out drinking and driving or get into a car with a mate who's been drinking. It's not worth not worth the risk, not worth the gamble. Um, you put people around you and yourself in too much pain and stress by doing it. So I really want you to think about what you do when you go out and being responsible and and just thinking about what you're doing because we live in a we live in a lifestyle now which is built up around going out, getting smashed, having fun, no one cares. Um, you know, it's you know, you're not bulletproof. Um, accidents do happen, uh, mistakes do happen, and it changes things instantly.